regular council meeting on September the 26th uh, to order. Clerk, you agree to report the official time. We'll go ahead. We'll arise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Father God, right now we just want to pause and say thank you again for allowing us to come out through the business of the village of Woodline. We ask that you purge our hearts, our minds, that we make the right decisions for the village of Woodline. We ask these blessings in thy son Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. 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 Roll call, please. Esther Boyd? Yeah, uh, present. Rosemary Brown? Present. Cindy Chandler? Present. Pamela Fitzgerald? Present. Robert Lawson? Present. Karen Tillman III? Present. Mayor Boyd? Present. All right. All right. Clerk, do we have any petitions from the public? Can you do the minutes? Oh, that would help you. I just went past that one. I apologize, friends. Let's get those out of the way. I do need a motion to approve the minutes from the August 29, 2023. Are there any corrections or deletions, additions to those minutes in front of us? I'll second it. Motion been moved and properly second. All ayes? Aye. Aye. Very well. Clerk, is there one, anyone have been signed up tonight to speak on council? Okay. I'm having some issues with my neighbors next door. I just moved in a year ago, and um, I'm trying to find out what is Woodlawn's policy on smoking marijuana outside of your home and burning sage outside of your home. And it's coming into my windows, and it's affecting my Ms. Carrington, this is what I want to do because I don't want to um, say anything that I, I'm not for sure. So what I like to do is I like to refer this concern uh, to our interim village manager. Village manager can get with police chief, our interim police chief, um, and kind of hopefully come up with a solution. Uh, doesn't know what that looks like, but I want that to be addressed. Mr. Engel, can we look at that in the next five days? Um, take a ride over on Prairie. Absolutely. All right. That's where Miss uh, Kirton lives. Uh, if we could go over on Prairie, check that out with uh, Interim Police Chief Williams. Um, that would be very helpful to to address this concern. Okay. Without going into further details. We'll have to keep, yes. Absolutely. Keep be posted on that. Yes, yes we are. And we will. I understand what yes. you're going through. Yes. Okay. Ms. Carrollton, I do apologize for that, but certainly we're going to have the our interim manager go out as well as the interim police chief uh, and look at what possibly can do if there's something that can be done. But we want to make sure that we're addressing that concern for you. No worries. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Mayor Good evening. Um, I'm here on, on behalf of We Thrive. And as we all know, that is the health initiative in which the village partners with Hamilton County Public Health. And just want to give a little summary of what, what's going on and um, what we've done this year. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for the opportunity uh, to fill you in with what's going on. 
uh, we, we've closed a, a wildly successful gardening year. Uh, I don't know if anyone has been to the garden. Yes, looks good down there. <laughs> Are the greens we, ready? We work hard, and I yes. tell you, the group that we work with was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Everybody pitched in and helped everybody else. Uh, and, you know, the uh, farmer's market, we kind of helped with that. And uh, at the farmer's market, uh, I think 85 people showed up, and we were able to distribute fresh fruits and vegetables and Plus, we had people doing demonstrations, and it, it was a great success, too. <clears throat> uh, this year, we rented uh, beds to community members who wanted to rent the space. And uh, I was talking to Ms. Brown about that. She, uh, she said, we don't know if we need a legislation, legislation for that or not, but... We'll take a look Four. at it. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. That's cool. But I like that idea. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we want to do what's right. We That's just right. didn't know we were ignorant. <laughs> no worries. No, 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 no. no not at all. Okay. Yeah. Not at all. And we want to give a great big thank you to the fire department who were awesome. And uh, we don't have a one room system, but they were awesome. Whenever we call them, we come and fill the rain barrels. Good. Did, you know? Okay. That was, that just. Good. We wouldn't have had a garden if yeah. we weren't able to there you go. supply that. But I just want to give you a brief um, rundown of the last um, meeting we had. Um, it was a community garden. The garden was doing well. The gardeners were working together, helping to water and weed the beds. We harvested zucchini and froze it, and the zucchini bread that we passed out at the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. Um, we also harvested some other things uh, that we gave away, too. Um, plans, we need a watering system mm -hmm. really bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess we can keep calling the fire department, but we don't, <laughs> we don't want to keep, um, you know, bugging them. But like I said, they were, they were awesome, awesomely gracious to help us. So I don't know. Can, Council direct us on how we could maybe start a process of kindle a watering system for the garden. My suggestion would be there because I, I don't want to speak to, to something that I'm not okay. totally feel. But once again, I'm going to go direct um, to the village manager, let him have that, that conversation with you. Maybe those ideas between him and the fire chief develop some ideas in terms of a system down there. Um, I guess my first question is, you mentioned that you have the fire department come and fill up the water barrels, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And how long does it, that barrel, barrels, because it's more than one, how long does it take to consume that water for them to come back out to I replenish? They can, <clears throat> they can water for about three days. So <clears throat> if all of the water barrel barrels were filled by mm -hmm. the fire department that would last three days? Mm -hmm. Is that what I'm hearing? Okay. Yeah. And we have, we have uh, the gardeners were volunteers, so every uh -huh. day somebody would. Gotcha. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. And uh, also, we're trying to get signage for the garden because if I report to someone earlier, uh, the residents aren't sure, you know, how it worked. So we had rented booths, I mean beds, to five residents, and people were going helping themselves because I guess they say this community. <laughs> so uh, we're working on, and we have already started the process of getting signage. Ms. Sherman called me and she said that they're going to help. You know, she's going to help us to find uh, signage. Okay. Okay. Um, we're trying to build a compost bin. <clears throat> all the um, everything that's left over from the garden we can put it in a compost bin mm -hmm. and it will generate beautiful soil uh -huh. mm -hmm. there is such a thing <laughs> uh -huh. yes. but you know that just that helps uh -huh. us and cuts down on the expense for next year mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. okay. So, okay. and I talked talk about the um, farmer's market that went really well and I'm going to turn you over to 
Ms. Gonzalez. Hello. 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 My name is Alex Gonzalez and I'm <coughs> with the health department as a population health specialist. I'm just here uh, with a quick plug which might help with funding the water source. Uh, oh. We have our Hamilton County Public <coughs> Health mini grant. Okay. Um, I have plan, um, a meeting with the population health specialist health department, um, budget, those kinds of things. It's a line item budget. We don't ask for receipts. We try and make this as easy um, as, as possible for the communities. Um, but yeah, the, the money comes from COVID-19 uh, resiliency money. So, um, you know, it's an ongoing kind of grant with the ongoing pandemic to kind of help communities bounce back. Uh, any questions or um, there's a follow-up email or phone number on there if you have any questions or concerns as well. All right, good stuff. Ms. Gonzalez, uh, along with Ms. Ms. Wagner, um, thank you so much for what you do in, in the garden in terms of the We Thrive. Uh, what we refer to as Miss Mary's okay. Garden um, <laughs> down there and you have been so active in this for oh, over the yeah. years and it's really paying off. I do have a concern or, or not a concern, it's, it's you talk about when people are coming in and they're helping themselves. And I know if you've taken a ride down into the Wyoming um, Community Garden uh, down on Van Roberts, mm -hmm. where they have it fenced in and you have to access it by a code. You have to get inside of the gate with a code um, so that the, those people that are renting the space, uh, they have to have a code to access inside of that. And so. Um, I know a couple years ago, speaking with um, folk down there in Wyoming, there wasn't an issue with others taking others, okay? Uh, again, they knew that this is their, their plot and they would just remain there. But again, just the access piece, um, we may want to probably look at and see if that could be an, an option for us to do. But certainly that that's, I mean, you've done all that producing all year long and then you come back and you're Produce is gone, right? Um, so this could be a way to eliminate that. But if, if you have the chance down on Van Roberts, Van Roberts is the street that runs along the uh, ran, uh, railroad tracks down in Wyoming. Um, and so check that out when you have a chance. If you could, just ride down there and see you know, what I'm describing. But I think it's really unique, and I think it's really neat that you have to access with a code to get in there. But certainly we'll be looking at that um, as well. But again, to the both of you, thank you so much because I think our residents are really enjoying that. Um, we, yeah, so hats off to you. Absolutely, hats off to you and so much. I thank, 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 we done thank you so much, but we're gonna keep thanking you for what you do because that's good stuff in the community. So again, thank you so much, but we'll look into that for you, okay? All right. Tell, tell us how your meetings are. I was going to say one last plug for the meeting time. Yeah, so oh, tell yes. Yeah, tell everybody when we you're meeting. We meet on the first Monday of every month at 6 p.m. at the community center. And you're welcome to come with any health-related ideas right. that you're interested in. First Monday at 6 p.m. Ms. Brown? Yeah, just yeah. for clarification, I am not against anything that the We Thrive Garden is doing. Just when I heard this afternoon, that you guys rented out some spaces. My mind goes directly to whether or not we need legislation or anything on the books to make sure that you're covered. <laughs> we may not, but you know, it's something that we can look into because that's always we want to make sure all our I's are dotted and our T's are crossed. Right. Okay. Very well. That's all. Okay. Very well. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Very well. Committee reports, Committee of the Whole, September the 12th, 2023. Ms. Brown? Yes, the Committee of the Whole met uh, on September the 12th. The uh, meeting started at 6.12 p.m. The uh, president wants the members of the Mayor Pool, S. Boyd, myself, Cindy Chandler, Pamela Fitzgerald, Robert Lawson, and Aaron Tillman. Also present was our interim manager, Tim Engel. Victoria Banks, our uh, public service director, Paula Sherman, our recreation director, Sergeant Lawson, and interim chief, Kevin Williams. 
The agenda, we amended the agenda to allow Ms. Patty Dunham from Strategic at HR to give us a presentation from the human resource audit that we had done. Um, it gave us a lot of insight regarding our HR practices and based on that audit, we will be having further conversation. Also, Public Works, Ms. Banks gave us a list of many things that they have done during the month. Some of them are, uh, Duke Energy was called, regarding tree limbs on the overhead wires on Wayne and Marion. There's a resident that wants a no parking sign removed from in front of her home and next to her mailbox. Mr. Engel is going to, or has already gotten back with her regarding that issue? We have. We've moved the sign. Okay. Yeah. And then um, also uh, they cleaned out some of the swells and soft delivery was delivered. Fire Director Chief Johnson recorded the following. Chief Johnson will be teaching a fire class through Scarlet Oaks. Also, he reported that they're still checking in on the residents on Ronnie and Woodstock because they're having the construction done up there. We want to make sure everyone is able to get in and out if there's a nervous area. There's a smoke detector blitz that's going on through the Red Cross. If anyone is interested or needs a smoke detector, they can contact the fire department. The interim police chief Williams reported the following. Um, he stated that he would like to restart an auxiliary police program, which is a volunteer program. The police department is working on getting prices for cruiser dashboard cameras that will work in conjunction with the fly cameras. Recreation, Ms. Sherman reported the following. Uh, regarding the pool in August, we had an attendance of 324 people. In September, there was 125. She reported that a total membership of 525 residents. That's six a lot, that's good. Uh, and eight non-resident memberships. Also, there were some swimming lessons done, and I believe we got that through a We Thrive grant. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. And uh, out of that came 25 youth, eight adults were in the first session. In the second session, there was 26 youth, six adults. In the third session, there was 15 youth, 10 adults. At the end of the course, there was a swimming exhibition. As a result of the lessons that was given, they had 20 swimmers, 14 youth and six adults that uh, participated in that exhibition. And during that time, they uh, also received certificates for completion. We've had movies at the pool, 15 were in attendance. The last flash, we had 35 in attendance. The concert series, it ended on the 24th of September. A big thank you to all who have attended the concert series. Ms. Sherman said she got a lot of great comments from uh, and feedback from people, and she's going to be getting with the village manager regarding that feedback. Also, thanks to Mary Hill and the Active Woodlawn crew for providing concessions. Special thanks to Monica Yuhad, Charlotte Ponder, and myself for uh, concession support. Also to the, fry, the fish fryer, and I think his name was Greg Smith. Ms. Wagner talked about the village market. And in that, Ms. Sherman also wanted to give a big thank you to the following people. Wyoming Rec for the tent, Lincoln Heights Class of 73 for helping to set up the tents, Dwayne Harmon for the fruit donation, Sue Plummer and Ed Hunger for helping to locate fruit and vegetable donations. Um, 
Ohio State Extension Program, Springfield Pipe of Springfield, I'm sorry, Ohio for the tomatoes, Valley View Farm for allowing us to pick corn for free. Her nephew did a great job in picking seven four, uh, seven five foot bag of corn, bags of corn for the market. Gorman Heritage Farm for allowing us to harvest celery, peppers, and apples. The women of Alpha Kappa Alpha Variety um, for the Kids Pavilion. A local vendor, Stephanie Jackson and Alicia Manley. Public Works for the Transportation and man Manpower Assistance, Tim Engel, the Woodline Garden Team, and the Recreation Team for their support. Most importantly, we thrive for their support sponsorship of the event. We had the five, uh, uh, 513 Relief Bus, which was here on August the 30th, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. There was over 200 residents served. Uh, upcoming events Friday and night and Monday movie night will be on Fridays. The next one will be October the 6th and then there will be one November the 10th and the times are 6.30 to 8.30 and it includes popcorn while it lasts. Um, there's free first aid CPR classes for Woodlawn families. The village is make, uh, Woodlawn is making first aid, CPR, and Stop the Bleeding Training, a family affair by offering free training. Children will learn how to activate emergency services and gather important information to help medical response, responders. Classes will be held by the Woodlawn Fire Department. They'll be led, I'm sorry, by the Woodlawn Fire Department and held at the REC. You can call the recreation, which is 771-7713, to register. Basketball registration for 2023-2024 season began on Monday, the 25th. You can call the recreation for further information on that. Hispanic Historic Heritage Month celebration, Friday, October the 6th, 6.30 to 9. It's a free event. Free classes at the REC. There are several classes that are being held at the REC that are free, but you must call the REC to register. Vegetable dehydration, which will be Saturday, October the 7th. I'm sorry, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. There's a couple paint party, which is going to be October the 14th, 5 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. There's also going to be a beginning yoga class. That's going to be Saturday, October the 21st, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And holiday cookie baking, which is going to be Saturday, December the 2nd, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And I think that's going to be all. The rest of it, the village manager, our interim village manager, is going to cover in his report. Very well. Any questions from Ms. Brown and from Committee of the Whole? Having done Finance Committee, Ms. Fitzgerald? Yes, uh, good evening. Uh, the Finance Committee met on September 18th, uh, 2023 at 7 p.m. The meeting was called to order at 7.05. The members present was myself as chair, um, Esther Boyd, as well as uh, Cindy Chandler. Also present was uh, Mr. Engel, uh, Mr. Willis, Ashley Madden, Mayor Poole, Rosemary Brown, and Robert Lawson. Um, I will start off with the uh, income tax update. The village collected $565,708.45 in taxes related to the month of August. It was um, distributed by fund. General fund, $450,599.08. To the road tax, uh, $73,788.06. To debt, $26,563.70. And capital improvements, $14,757.61. Um, total receipts collected um, since inception was $3,961,722.06. Um, dispersed a million one eighty nine three fifty four ninety one, and the fund balance as to date is two million seven hundred seventy two thousand three sixty seven fifteen. 
which you can see um, a lot of our roads are being repaired. Uh, a lot of our, uh, a lot of the money is at work as far as that we have collected for the road taxes. And that will be the end of my report because I want to turn it over to our finance director to continue on with the uh, finance update. Very well. All right. Any questions for Ms. Fitzgerald and finance? All right. Municipal manager's report. Thank you. Just uh, briefly go through the, through the memo that was uh, provided to council. Uh, the Juneteenth 2023 MOU uh, was uh, agreed upon during the uh, Committee of the Whole last month will be on uh, legislation for tonight. Uh, Lee Crest Road, Red the Terrace uh, will be bid out um, potentially early, or I'm sorry, late this year, otherwise early next year. Um, HR audit, as we've noted before, was uh, completed. Uh, we spoke about that at Committee of the Whole. Uh, we're also looking at some HR companies to help the village. Uh, lawn leaf pickup, uh, again, uh, Rumpke has given us an option to add uh, trash cans to our existing service for trash collection for an extra dollar per household per month. Uh, the trash cans would be used for regular garbage. Residents could repurpose their purchased cans for yard waste pickup. Uh, I spoke, uh, Commissioner Driehaus also visited uh, council uh, during one of the meetings and noted that Hamilton County Resource may be able to assist with the cost of the trash cans. Mm -hmm. Um, I spoke with Gage Bradford this week and was advised that Resource may be able to assist with cans specifically for yard waste, uh, but not regular trash cans. We may just speak with Rumpke and discuss our potential options mm -hmm. with that. Uh, speaking of Hamilton County Resource, uh, they are having a, a Household Hazardous Products two-day drop-off event. Uh, the event will take place on October 20th and the 21st. This event is for Hamilton County residents only, uh, and you must register to drop items off. Uh, more information can be found at the Hampton County Resource website uh, or if you call uh, their number at 513-946-7777. Uh, they can give you information as well. The village also has the information on their website. If you go to the website, there's a QR code you can scan with your phone. Uh, and you can get information that way as well. Okay. Uh, speaking of, the, of their hazardous materials event, the village is also looking to have one. Uh, we're working with uh, Hampton County Resource to have the event. Uh, public Works Director is working with her team to put a date together. Uh, I think we're tentatively looking for the, to, to do this the week after uh, Hamilton County's event. Uh, so if you missed that one, you might be able to come to Woodlawn. But we are, uh, just again, ironing out the dates and uh, uh, working on uh, staff to, have, to, to facilitate that. Uh, Southern Gateway Project, uh, we had the open house on September 14th with KZF. Uh, we received some additional public comments uh, regarding uh, plans for Springfield Pike. Um, KZF will review and compile the information that they've received and it will be there for us to review. Uh, as a reminder, uh, the planning project is being funded by a $40,000 grant from Hamilton County CDBG. Uh, Ronnie and Woodstock, um, obviously as uh, Councilperson Fitzgerald noted, a lot of road work is happening right now, uh, specifically on Ronnie and Woodstock. Um, Greater Cincinnati Waterworks has agreed to replace water mains on Mayview Forest Drive between Ronnie and Woodstock in conjunction with that work. Uh, GCWW has committed $25,184 to repaving and an additional $7,500 related to trenching. Uh, the Neiman Brothers have completed an estimate for the additional work, uh, which is $74,215.50. Uh, change order for this work will be on the agenda for tonight's legislation. Uh, Recreation Department program analysis, uh, the surveys um, have all been received. We uh, continue to take surveys up through the 15th of this month. Uh, the village received 120 responses. I want to remind everybody, those went out to each household. Uh, so that's 120 responses for every household we have in the village. Uh, Pros Consulting will now review the data and compile a report for management and council, uh, and we'll include rec which will include recommendations related to the operations of the Recreations Department. Uh, our goal is to have a plan in place to be effective uh, starting January 1. Uh, Hamilton County Revitalization Grant, the county officially approved and signed off on our grant, uh, app, our, our grant contract uh, late last week. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've officially committed the $231,200 in grant funding to purchase property on Springfield Pike. Uh, the purchase contracts for those properties uh, were signed by the seller on Friday last week. Uh, our expectations to close on the properties late this year or early next year. 
Uh, Springfield Pike and Gruninger improvements. Again, we received uh, sorta money uh, to add sidewalks uh, to uh, Gruninger as well as Springfield Pike. Um, that uh, work will begin next year. Uh, we're also working uh, with CT consultants and Alloy uh, to look at potential right-of-way acquisitions from some of the property owners. Salt barn construction, public works is getting a new salt barn, concrete work is being performed. The village did run into some delays with permits uh, as the public works building is in the Springfield Pike overlay. Uh, we will have a zoning meeting on October 5th, I have the 12th, but it's the 5th, uh, to get approval related to the necessary permits. The, the building should be fully constructed by the end of October. And then the flock cameras, as we've discussed before, the police department is looking into flock cameras, which is an integrated camera system uh, that can be put on various uh, uh, poles here in the village. Uh, the police department is also looking at a strategy to uh, use uh, a lesser amount of flock cameras and then add cameras to the police vehicles. So they'll continue to look into the strategies for cameras and uh, provide information on that. Uh, and we'll continue to look at uh, flock system as a capital item for next year. Uh, the village will have a representative from flock scheduled to speak to council at Committee of the Whole on October the 10th. Uh, and again, just as a reminder, the regional safety complex, uh, or the gun range movement as we all like to think about it, uh, there was a meeting on September the 7th that I attended uh, with various representatives of Hamilton County and the city of Cincinnati. Uh, the, group, the group provided uh, a schedule of, of milestones uh, related to the regional safety complex. Uh, they believe it will be fully constructed by the middle to the end of 2025. Uh, Commissioner Driehaus noted there was a $4 million gap in the Phase 1 funding that, we, that will be made up by Hamilton County and the City of Cincinnati be, by reallocating leftover ARPA money. Uh, she believed this budgeting item would be completed by the end of the month. Uh, and that concludes my, my village manager uh, report. Oh, any questions for Mr. Yeah. Ms. Fitzgerald? Um, the Recreation Department Program Analysis? Yes. Um, said that there was about 120 responses received, right? Mm -hmm. And we were hoping to get around. Two, Hopefully, 250. We were hoping to get 200. Around 200. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Can I ask a question? Thank sure. You. So um, I thought there was a, a minimum number that you had to have for it to be scientific. I think I think the 120 will still work. When I talked to uh, Leon about it uh, a couple of days ago, he felt that the 120 was still a good number. And uh, he, he very frankly put it, you know, if 120 people showed up to council, you'd probably listen. So um, we'll use the we'll use the 120 and get as much data as we can and, mm -hmm. and move from there. Okay. Do we have any idea when those results will come out? Um, I, my expectation, and I'll, I'll, I'll circle back with Leon, I, I don't know if they'll have them by committee of the whole next month, but I think sometime next month we should have, we should have them. What I would like to do is have them available for discussion. Um, or, or, you know, for council discussion, uh, and then we can uh, kind of use those to construct a plan and move forward with recreations. The goal will be that we'll have a, a, a strategy in place uh, that we can kind of put into a resolution uh, for December, and then we can move forward with that in January. So that would direct our okay. Do you know how okay. many, uh, just last question, how many were sent out? There was, there was uh, sent out to each household. I know there are a little over 970 that are. Uh, on the tr on the rumpy trash route, just to remember doing that, and then in addition to that, you have to add the apartments. I, I, would, I would estimate you know, probably 1,500 or something, yeah, but I can get that exact way. number from. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't. That, that's, mm -hmm. I was just trying to get an estimate yeah. of what percentage that mm -hmm. is. Right. Okay. Good stuff. Any other questions for Mr. Engel and his report? Oh, I got a quick one. Sure. For uh, the, the hazardous products. Yes. I know you said it's listed on the website, but I think paint is like household paint. Uh, I believe that's that's one of the things they take. Okay. Yes, okay. they they only yeah. take. I just looked it up because I was. <laughs> they take oil, but latex paint is not part of the hazardous waste. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you uh, use the link on the website, it'll give you a you whole list of the the they want. But to your yeah. point, Mr. Lawson, uh, Matthew 25 does take any type of paint. Um, if you choose to take that up to Matthew 25, they take all the paint, um, and it's pretty cool how they separate the paint up there, did some volunteering up there. So if you, that's an option to take it up to Matthew 25 up on Kenwood Road in Blue Ash. So, okay. good for thought. All right, very well. Finance Director Report. Yep. 
Uh, I'll pick up uh, where Ms. Fitzgerald left off. Uh, so for Finance Committee on September 18th, uh, the committee was provided with various reports which included appropriations and revenues reports. It was noted as of August 31, 2023 that the village collected 65% of budgeted revenues and expended 46% of appropriations. Uh, receipts and disbursements reports were also provided to the committee. Uh, for the month of August, uh, the village collected $735,951.70 and dispersed $932,049.66. August disbursements included a payment to the Ohio National Guard of $99,513 and payments to Ford Development for the construction of Harmony Park, totaling $143,272.64. Uh, general fund disbursements were higher than total village disbursements, where the village dispersed 69% of general fund budgeted expenditures and collected 87% of general fund budgeted receipts. Uh, the committee was also uh, provided with fund balance, with a fund balance report, as well as a bank reconciliation, uh, as well as overtime and salary expense reports. Uh, we, spoke, we talked briefly about recreations, income versus uh, disbursements, uh, and discussed some of the legislation that will be on the agenda tonight. Very well. All right. Any questions for Mr. Engel in the finance report? If we have none, Ms. Fitzgerald, I do need a, uh, we have to approve the bank reconciliation receipt listing and payment listing as well. Um, I'd like to make a motion of, for the approval of the bank reconciliation receipts listing and payment listing. I second. Motion been moved. Properly second. All ayes. Aye. Aye. Very well. Law director's report. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I just wanted to cover two pieces of legislation um, that you have before you tonight because they're just a little out of the ordinary and I want to make sure there aren't any questions. Um, the first is the ordinance amending Chapter 206 of the Village of Woodlawn Code of Ordinances pertaining to public contracts. Um, as you know, under our charter, um, the Village has its own public contracts um, ordinance. Um, and as part of that ordinance, it covers um, the competitive bidding threshold and legislative authority threshold, and they are the same number. They're currently $50,000. And the reason it's $50,000 is because under our charter, it indicates that that spending authority and that competitive, competitive bidding threshold shall be the same as state law. Um, in the last capital budget bill, um, the legislature increased that amount to $75,000. Um, for village administrators. Um, so in following our charter, we have to amend our code of ordinances to reflect that change in the law. Um, and in addition, um, not only has it been increased to $75,000, but it will increase by 3% every year starting in 2025. Um, and that will be done um, at the state level. Um, so that ordinance has been amended to reflect that that spending authority, that um, competitive bidding threshold will be the same as what the state law provides um, so that we're consistent. Um, are there any questions about that piece of legislation? Okay. Uh, Emily, I just yeah. wanted to clarify the, the, my understanding of the budget bill is that in 2025, the um, threshold will be the, an increase of 3% over the 50,000. And that will no. continue up until 3% over the 75,000. Over the 75, okay. Yes, correct. Um, the other item that's on here um, has to do with the Taconic Terrace uh, property that the village purchased earlier this year. Um, as I think many of you are remember that this property was the subject of a Clean Ohio grant. Um, it was cleaned. The Ohio EPA issued a no further action letter on that property, but it does have certain reporting requirements um, following that cleanup. Mm -hmm. Since the village acquired some of that, um, we, are now, we now need to take over responsibilities for those reporting requirements as it pertains to the section that the village okay. purchased. Mm -hmm. So one of the other items is in here is um, authorizing um, the manager to um, enter into a um, partial assignment and assumption of those responsibilities. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, the, so we take on that, that part. Um, but that's, that's really all I had for my, um, for my report. If there's okay. any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Okay. Any questions? 
law director. Okay. All right, having none. All right, got a couple of things I wanted to go back um, because this is the time of the year. I want to make sure that if residents here in the community are in need of smoke detectors, uh, Chief, I see, yeah, where'd he go? He left. All right. Um, we want to make sure that we call the uh, Woodline Fire Department so that those can be installed. If you do call them, they are required to install those in your house. So make sure uh, for the safety of all, if you need those, let's reach out to our fire department, a wonderful group of guys that will, and women that will come out and install those in your house. Um, again, I'm going to talk about safety. Recently, I've been seeing a lot of speeding um, coming down Riddle Road. I try to mention it at each meeting about the safety of our students um, that are going to school, either in Woodlawn or wherever outside of our boundary lines. Let's be conscious of that and for the safety of our precious cargo that's out there. Please, I just beg you. Um, I do want to mention tonight, I've received multiple letters from residents, I'm not for sure, in the village or where. It never gives me a name, an address to respond, or phone number. It always just kind of generalizes uh, and talks about the road construction. The only thing that I can um, share tonight is that I ask that everybody just bear with us as we make our streets better here in the village of Woodline. Um, I know that we did some work on the east side over on Timberland, Timberview, um, last, not long ago. They bared with us. Um, the residents on Woodstock and Ronnie Road are much more impacted by the construction of their road construction up there. So we just ask that everybody bear with us. Um, there was a concern about Lee Crest. We have identified Lee Crest. We are working on Lee Crest through grant. Um, so that should be addressed next year. So just want to put that publicly out there because I'm not, I don't have a forwarding number or an address to respond to the resident um, that is sending me the letter. But I just wanted to put that out there that we are addressing that. And just be patient with us because we're making the streets better out in the village of Woodline. Um, that is all that I do have for some um, quick notes. Uh, Vice Mayor, I do need an approval of my Mayor's Court monthly statement, please. Yes, Mayor. I would like to um, approve the Mayor's Court monthly statement in the amount of $22,509 for the month of August 2023. That is your motion, correct? That is my motion. Very well. I'll second it. Motion been moved and properly second. All ayes? Aye. Aye. Very well. Appreciate it. All right, let's jump into our legislation tonight. Yes, Mayor. The first item is ordinance number 30, 2023, an ordinance amending chapter 206 of the Village of Woodlawn Code of Ordinances pertaining to public contracts. Very well. I need a motion to suspend the rules for ordinance number 30, 2023. I'll make a motion to suspend the rules for ordinance number 30, 2023. No, sir. Motion been moving properly. Second. Roll call, please. Esther Boyd? Yes. Rosemary Brown? Aye. Penny Chandler? Aye. Edna Fitzgerald? Aye. Lawson? Aye. Aaron Tillman III? Aye. Very well. I need a motion for passage of ordinance number 30, 2023. I'd like to make a motion for passage of ordinance number 30, 2023. No second. Motion been moving properly. Second. Roll call on the passage, please. Mr. Boyd? Aye. Rosemary Brandt? Aye. Cindy Chandler? Aye. Pamela Fitzgerald? Aye. Robert Lawson? Aye. Karen Tillman III? Aye. Very well. The next item is ordinance number 31, 2023, an ordinance authorizing the interim municipal manager to execute a partial assignment and assumption of operation and maintenance agreement and plan. Aye. I need a motion. I I need a motion to suspend the rules for ordinance number 31, 2023. I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules for ordinance number 31, 2023. I'll second it. Motion been moved and properly second. Roll call on the suspension, please. Rosemary Brown? Aye. Cindy Chandler? Aye. Pamela <clears throat> Fitzgerald? Aye. Robert Lawson? Aye. Aaron Tillman III? Aye. Esther Boyd? Aye. Very well. I need a motion for passage of ordinance number 31, 2023. Motion for passage of ordinance number 31, 
I'll second. Motion been moved and properly second. Roll call on the passage, please. Rosemary Brown? Aye. Cindy Chandler? Aye. Edward Fitzgerald? Aye. Robert Clark? Aye. Aaron Tilton III? Aye. Aye. Very well. The next item is ordinance number 32, 2023. An ordinance authorizing the interim municipal manager to enter into a grant agreement with the Ohio Emergency Management Agency and authorizing the payment of a retention incentive to certain village employees for certain, pursuant to the Ohio First Responder Retention Incentives Grant Program and declaring an emergency. I need a motion to suspend the rules for ordinance number 32-2023. Yes. Is that a one time? It, it is. It is. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'll make a motion for passage of ordinance number 32. Suspension of the I'm rules, sorry. please. Suspension of the rule, I'm sorry. Hmm? For ordinance number 32, 2023. I'll second the motion. Motion been moving properly. Second. Roll call on the suspension, please. Cindy Chandler? Aye. Emma Fitzgerald? Aye. Robert Lawson? Aye. Aaron Tillman III? Aye. Buster Boyd? Aye. Rosemary Brown. Aye. I need a motion for passage of ordinance number 32-2023. I'd like to make a motion for passage of ordinance number 32-2023. I'll second. Motion been moved. Properly second. Roll call on the passage, please. Cindy Chandler? Aye. Emma Fitzgerald? Aye. Robert Wilson? Aye. Aaron Tillman III? Aye. Esther Boyd? Aye. Rosemary Brown? Aye. Very well. I need a motion declaring an emergency to ordinance number 32-2023. I'll make the motion to declare ordinance number 32-2023 an emergency. I'll second the motion. Motion been moved and properly second. Roll call on the emergency. Cindy Chandler? Aye. Emma Fitzgerald? Aye. Robert Lawson? Aye. Aaron Tilton III? Aye. Esther Boyd? Aye. Rosemary Brown? Aye. The next item is Ordinance 33-2023, an ordinance amending appropriations for the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2023. I need a motion for suspending the rules on Ordinance number 33-2023. I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules for Ordinance number 33-2023. Motion has been moved and properly second. Roll call on the suspension, please. Pamela Fitzgerald? Aye. Robert Lawson? Aye. Aaron Tillman III? Aye. Esther Boyd? Yes. Rosemary Brown? Aye. Penny Chandler? Aye. I need a motion for passage of ordinance number 33, 2023. I'll make the motion for ordinance of passage for ordinance number 33, 2023. I'll second the motion. Motion is moved and properly second. Roll call on the passage, please. Emma Fitzgerald? Aye. Robert Lawson? Aye. Aaron Tilton III? Aye. Esther Boyd? Yes. Rosemary Brown? Aye. Penny Chandler? Aye. Very well. The next item is Resolution 30, 2023, a resolution authorizing the interim municipal manager to enter into an agreement with Alloy Development Company, Inc. to provide economic development assistance to the village. Very well. I need a motion for passage of resolution number 30, 2023. I'll make a motion for passage of resolution number 30, 2023. I'll second it. Motion been moved and properly second. Roll call on the passage, please. Robert Lawson? Aye. Aaron Tillman III? Aye. Esther Boyd? Aye. Rosemary Brown? Aye. Cindy Chandler? Aye. Emma Fitzgerald? Aye. Very well. Next item is Resolution 31, 2023, a resolution authorizing the interim village manager to enter into a services agreement with Call of Play Athletic Company, LLC, for services related to the 2024 Juneteenth celebration. I need a motion for passage of resolution number 31, 2023. I'd like to make a motion for passage of resolution number 31, 2023. Motion been moving properly. Second. Roll call on the passage, please. Aaron Tillman III? Aye. Esther Boyd? Aye. Rosemary Brown? Aye. Cindy Chandler? Aye. Emma Fitzgerald? Aye. Barbara Lawson? Aye. Thank you. 
The next item is Resolution 32, 2023, a resolution approving a change order to the contract with Fred A. Neiman Company for the Ronnie Road and Woodstock Drive Improvement Project. I need a motion for passage of Resolution 32, 2023. I'll make a motion for passage for Resolution number 32, 2023. I'll second Motion been moving properly. Second. Roll call on the passage, please. Mr. Boyd? Aye. Rosemary Brown? Aye. Cindy Chandler? Aye. Emma Fitzgerald? Aye. Robert Lawson? Aye. 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 The last item is resolution number 33, 2023, a resolution authorizing the interim manager to enter into a contract for health care coverage for eligible employees through key benefits, the Christ Hospital Optimal Health and Optimal Health and setting the percentage split of the cost between the village and employees for such coverage. You will. I need a motion for passage of resolution number 33, 2023. I'll make a motion for passage uh, for resolution number 33, 2023. I'll second. Motion been moving properly. Second. Roll call on the passage, please. Cindy Chandler. Aye. Emma Fitzgerald. Aye. Robert Lawson. Aye. Anton III? Aye. Yes. Well. All right. Is there any new business that comes before this council? All right. I am going to ask that we go into an executive session to discuss the appointment of a public employee in that section 220.01 G3 to discuss a legal matter requiring the attention of counsel with the village law director. I need a motion for that, yes. I'll make a motion for that. <laughs> I second it. Yes, we need a roll call. All right. The motion has been moved and properly second. Roll call on uh, roll call on that, please. Mr. Boyd? Aye. Rosemary Brown? Aye. Aye. Chandler? Aye. Aye. Robert Lawson? Aye. 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 those out in the audience thank you so much for coming tonight we appreciate that we appreciate that be safe getting home tonight as well